Hey, what's up? I made that song before the stream started. <laughs> That's why it's uh, not that good. <laughs> but I made it before it started. That's the main thing. And I think you can hear me, which is rare. Usually you can't hear me by now. All right. Mm, let's see here. Here's the song I just played. <laughs> yeah. Lately I've been really into this plugin. The, it's like SH-101 free version. It reminds me of, or not reminds me of, I, I stole it from Dorian Concepts Instagram because you can see his settings on on his actual SH-101. So I just stole that. Let me turn off the air purifier. Did that do it? I don't think that did anything. All right. Um, what else is in here? Oh, what is hissing? Something's oh, the hiss is from this stupid tape plugin. <laughs> Turn that down. There we go. Right. Oh, speaking of my hair, I'm gonna shave it all off. <laughs> I ordered the razor. All the razors were sold out on Amazon because everyone's shaving their head. <laughs> and so I had to buy an expensive one. <laughs> this is more fun than telling my mom for sure. <laughs> well, I'll do a poll, but I already paid $250 for a stupid razor, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> yeah, I do use horse shampoo. Well, it's not really horse shampoo anymore. All right, let's open. Which one should I do first, Virgil or Sleepwalk? Two Virgils. One Sleepwalk. It doesn't matter. I'm doing both. <laughs> Let's do Virgil though. Mm -hmm. Now, if I can open it. <laughs> I'll do them at the same time. <laughs> That's funny. Boom. All right, so. Yeah, before the stream started, I, I organized the tracks. But there's not that many, so it didn't take very long. Mm, what was that? Oh, thank you. Well, you don't have to miss it. It's not going anywhere. I'll just keep it. It just won't be attached anymore. <laughs> Is it really, really um, distasteful to sell my hair? <laughs> Because I think I could get, like, enough money to at least, like, um, repay for the razor I bought. <laughs> Alright, um, the main sound here... Actually, I want to find what inspired this, which was a um, sample that one of you submitted. I think it's in here. Yeah, it's this sample here. <laughs> Thank 
thank you. Basically, I stole from you guys. I feel like, isn't this Imajira? That's his name, right? I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think you're supposed to be able to see his name anyways. It's just that when <laughs> when the samples were submitted, it put in your <laughs> full name into the files. I didn't mean to steal from this. I just remember hearing it and then I tried to copy it from memory or something. I didn't even know where it was from, if it was like a sample that I found or that was submitted, but later I realized like, oh shit. <laughs> crazy <laughs> it's not okay it's exactly the same anyways i re i redid the the melody on the ukulele at my girlfriend's house in japan and that's just recorded into my laptop mic and i couldn't i couldn't get that like actually <laughs> to like slide my fingers back up to where they should be. So like, I just did them in two, two separate takes. Man, I wonder what I, I made this all in one day, which was nice. These are like slowed down. It's a slowed down stem from a remix that um, I think Rye sent, but I never sent anything back. But I have these piano stems, so. And then uh, we can skip the bass. Um, <laughs> me whistling. Yeah, my bass track's always dark blue. <laughs> and kick is always black, and snare is usually red. Uh, I, I almost lost these vocals. Um, for some reason, the file the consolidated file for this was in, I moved it to my downloads folder. I must have like just dragged it by accident or something. And then I just like clear through my downloads folder every once in a while and get rid of all the stuff I don't need. So I almost lost this vocal track, but it was on splice whenever you downloaded the project. And then this is originally an octave lower if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and I recorded this. I don't know if I went with um, my laptop. I don't think I went with the laptop mic because the fans are too loud. And so I think I used my iPhone plugged into um, like an aux cable and then used some like mic um, like app <laughs> that like just takes the audio and sends it to the aux or to the headphones. Plant my eyes in the garden Feed my heart to the birds Place my hands on the mountain <laughs> I've never heard it with the actual... Well, I probably have, but... Place my it's not good. Place my hands on the mountain This piano chord's got turned way up, too. <laughs> Hold on, oh my god. There it is. Mm. These lyrics were pretty fast to write because I didn't feel like they mattered that much. So I just kind of screwed with a bunch of words. And yeah, I don't think it took me more than a day to write these ones. But the <clears throat> the other lyrics for like you and, and collapse were like more than a week, just like not making music anymore and just sitting down and writing lyrics <laughs> it was really really tough honestly i'm not good at it but this one wasn't so bad and mostly it's um usually it's about half 
um, like transcribing the gibberish that I sang, but for this one it was like more like 80%. So I just kind of like tried to hear the words that I was mumbling. I have probably somewhere the original vocal take. If I go and find like... Mm. Mm. Oh, here we go. I wonder if I'm singing on this though. Oh yeah, here we go. I think that's an even earlier version than the first like demo vocals because that one's just falsetto, which is probably how I sing it live. I'll just sing like. And then that's that. Um, I can look at the, I can go through the specifics later. I'll just go through like the general parts first. So we've got bass and then some piano chords from the actual. That's not doing very much, is it? Let's hear it. I think I was trying to just turn up some of the subtle notes by like doubling them with the piano. They were just like kind of a combination of little bits that were in some of the samples. So like, uh, you can kind of hear it. So I just put that, <laughs> it's kind of dumb, but I think if you're listening in a quiet room, you could probably hear it. Okay, let's look at the drums, which are nothing special. I'm not good at doing things like lo-fi drums and, and stuff, so I just kind of guess, but I've, I've, like anytime I try and copy something without knowing what I'm doing, it's not very great. It's not very loud either, let me turn it up, right? I feel like my voice is louder. These are from Julian Muir. He sent some stems over and I stole the... It's from like a... So I took that sound, I really like it. Mm. <laughs> There's a tape plug-in on the snare drum, which is weird. It's just a bit of like saturation and then the drips here I guess that's drums I put it up with the drums but it's not really I wonder if only I know the melody to that because everyone doesn't hear the tones of it no, that one's pretty obvious. Da, 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 da. But it's it's da, 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 or something. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> uh, maybe that's a mistake. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I liked it. I forget. Oh yeah, this is a thing I used to do a lot, which was copy this lone sound. Usually his is brighter though, it's more like. I don't know if you guys, oh shoot, hello. I don't know if you guys know Lone, but um, pretty much his entire discography, the genres change, but one thing stays the same as he uses this like saw sound like this. 
And then same for me, like I've just copied him that sound forever. Like, um, especially in the earlier stuff that I did where I was kind of copying Boards of Canada and Loan and stuff. But yeah, <laughs> that sound is hilariously amazing. It's so simple, but like, I haven't really heard anybody use it except for Loan. And it's just solid, it's weird. It's weird, like, it's weird how basic of a sound it is, but how recognizably lone it is. Um, but it's nice to have, like, a bit of pitch bend on it, and then, like, that kind of, like, perfect saw tone kind of, like, weaves in and out of tune underneath stuff and kind of gives this is like, I don't know what it is, like, umami. So that note is, like, now that you know it, you can hear it under here. So it's like... So yeah. That's what that track's doing. It's less of melody, but more of like... Some stuff. Alright, this is another sound I copied from Shlomo. He does like... At least on his earlier stuff, he did more of it. These like, thirds. And it's like <laughs> these like really crazy intervals that just kind of go like wah, 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 wah. so yeah it gives this this like really perfect vibe i don't know what the vibe is other than shlomo vibe like it's so weird it reminds me of a basement like a concrete basement and like yeah, I'll show the patch. Um, Shlomo usually went with like just <laughs> pure so or pure square wave. Like, let's see. Like my my track was just like a bit too dark for it, but all of his songs just have like. Um. Yeah. Uh, this one's not perfect saw or perfect square. Jeez. I never use square, so I'm used to sing saw. <laughs> yeah, that that's more like Shlomo stuff. It's just too harsh for my song. So mine's more like radio -y. And then this is some stuff I doubled with the ukulele. That's definitely like copying my friend Bo. <laughs> Am I missing anything up here? I don't think so. Okay, let's keep going down. The, these are all samples now, except for, except for one of these tracks. Maybe it's up here still. What the hell? Did I lose a track? Maybe. I thought I had like a tape strings. Oh, maybe that's on the other song. What's the other song? Oh yeah, it must be the other. Yeah, I think it's the other song. I just sorted through these. Um, all right, I'll go through each one and where I stole it from. And hopefully that increases the likelihood that I get Sued. I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, I think uh, I'm not even gonna say where that's from. <laughs> that's like territory that I don't want to. Can you guys hear test drumming? Here, I'll turn up the mic. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> I think she's over on the other side. Like she's literally a wall over from me, so. She's tapping. I can feel it. It's weird. All right, so that's. 
some, and then I'll just keep adding these samples onto each other. I use this um, guitar sample in Kawanashi too. But it's from a classical recording, I think. Yeah, so that's that. And then I think this is the same thing. I just download this stuff and then search through it for way too long to find a single note. It's kind of pointless. If I could probably just like get a guitar or something, and it would be easier. <laughs> or just Google guitar note. Uh, here's some strings. I definitely would have put a high pass on this if I had noticed. Thank you for hosting, I think. I haven't up, I'm trying to redo the, the graphics on Twitch to match Telescope, but I haven't done the, the GIFs yet. Man, this track is so quiet, sorry. That's not in key. But yeah, that's where those notes came from. I think it's like two of these working together to make those notes. Sad flute. much left all right this stuff I stole from Totoro and this sound if you didn't notice it already so far I haven't gotten in trouble for that <laughs> and then this last track is uh, from Doryu no Taki which is a place we went to in Japan for the day. It was like, um, had shrines and like forest and we just walked around there. And I had two iPhones, so I recorded this with that and then panned each one left and right. And then the end of it is we got back in the car. So that's where this comes from. It's amazing what two iPhones can do. Are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> All right. I think that's it. Um, I wanted to go into some of the processing on... <laughs> the vocals. I'll look at the vocals. It's kind of normal. If I turn it all off. So it's just like sharp EQ, compression, and then a guitar amp, which is giving it that like cabinet sound. I'm using, I think, an old version of autotune. I don't really like it, but if I set the speed like slow enough, it, it sounds all right. Okay, uh, anything that I, I like missed that you saw and then you were like, oh shit, show that. The guitar, yeah, the guitars are a ukulele. <laughs> I think they're, they're definitely pitched down. 
yeah here's the original recording ish um all these eqs are like real time I'm, i haven't really gone back and changed anything in this song um, like the ending mixing stuff was like just brightening the whole thing i might even have it on the master yeah so usually i just throw this on at the end because i always miss boosting like 16 17k and then i've been boosting higher than that and i think i'm setting the bell curve which side are my hands on Wh whatever side they are i'm boosting like 20k just to get like the tail end of that bell curve to boost my audible frequency range so i have a feeling like I'm shredding, like, if you're 10 years old and you're listening to this, it's like, <laughs> and that goes for all, anything that I mix. <laughs> How did you pitch the, pitch the vocals down? I pitched them up. Sounds like I'm, oh, is that a, that's an artist that I don't know. <laughs> They're pitched up, though. With the with Complex Pro so that the format doesn't change so I don't sound like a chipmunk. So if this is set to zero, you sound like it's just sped up. But this way, like, it tries to basically maintain the, the like, quality of my voice. <laughs> I think I'm done with this one. I'll go to the next one now. These don't take so long to load. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, where to start? I didn't plan this one out in my head. I think the main element is the the stuff that's just droning. So I'll solo all of that first. And I got this motion. Um, this one's from a Feist song and I made it with Pad Shop and then my license expired <laughs> so I had to send it to Leslie and then he rendered it for me and sent it back okay let's see that was I think Brandy Alexander Though I like to say So the end of this song um, Right So I would go and listen to this song after the stream It's so cool It's like I mean if you're not into this kind of music It won't like blow you away Well it still will probably but it's just a nice folk song with some good like Mellotron sounds and like synth stuff. But near the end, it goes absolutely crazy. There's this like organ held and then all this stuff comes in. You have to listen to it because I don't want to play too much on stream. But it's so good. It's so good. This outro like inspired me to make like a lot of music just so much fuel from this little part here so that organ sound in between the drums i just like grabbed anything that was like clean and extended that and then turned it into this shoes 
that even the right song? I think it is. I feel like it's a different Feist song though. That, that ruins my whole story. Oh, totally is a different Feist song. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, well, just listen to the song. It doesn't matter though. <laughs> I can remember what song this is. Hold on. Um. It doesn't matter. I stole it. <laughs> um. All right. So yeah, this stuff goes through the whole song pretty much. It's another sample. I'll just pull this out and see what the rest of the song sounds like. <laughs> that does not look. Oh, it's just a post rock song from. I have no idea who's it. Who is by, but I took that. I'll turn that down. Okay. Um, I'll go through the rest of the pads here. This is the same sample. I just um, repitched it to add some harmony. You can kind of hear like that's what that sound is. Okay, and then this is a pitch down cigarette song. Just like the intro or outro reversed or something. And then this is like an experimental album pitched up. And I think it had some annoying tones in it, so I, I had to like erase them with the RX. So yeah, here's all of that sampled stuff put together. I just pitch it all so it's in the same key. I'm trying to do anything that's like not chordal yet so I can do that afterwards. Okay, um, now let me turn that stuff off. Oh, these are from Leslie too. These Skyrim pads, which I can only guess what you sampled that from. Um, this is like an old thing from the first time I tried to do it was on All Yours on the intro. And it's, it's not from, but I first heard it in the Gladiator soundtrack. And also in Coldplay, like Viva La Vida stuff. Just like a lot of dulcimer tracks put together. And it gives it this like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, I'm, I'm like getting the vibe from Gladiator, but it feels very like Gladiator vibe. <laughs> like Empire, like <laughs> thousands of years ago. Super weird. I don't know what that vibe is actually, but without it, it kind of sucks because it's giving it this like grander feeling to it. It feels like duty, you know, and honor. <laughs> without it, there's like no honor. <laughs> it's like you got to do what you have to do. I don't know. That's all I can say about that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, and then after that stuff is, this stuff's more in key and these are like shorter string samples. Oh, we have some, this should be down there too. Oh, 
I'll play over here too. Mm, over here looks better. Yeah. Ooh, nice clicks. I think it's this one, no? Shit. Well, whatever. <laughs> I think I must have repitched it. That should be like that. All right, um, I'll go through each one and show how I did it. So this is, this is like um, a cinematic string library just with a ton of reverb on it. <laughs> and then that just is like reverbed. The rest is samples, so this is from a Rachel's song. I just look for like clean things. They're all repitched. And then this is from the I I use this stuff a lot. It's from the uh oh acoustic version that we did with Miguel Atwood Ferguson. So he did like a string session before the shoot so that we'd have something to layer onto the video. Because in the video there's only like four string players, but um, the audio is like more like 12 so it's it's layered with like a studio recording that we did earlier and so I have all the files for that which is sweet and so I use this a lot that this is also from that take or from those takes and these two yeah if I drag any of these out they just become uh oh <laughs> yeah, all uh, right. So I think I might have screwed that up, but whatever. And then these are more, you can see the name of the song that I sampled. But yeah, once you start building them all up, it's a lot of fun. Because you can pretty much make anything you want with them. And it sounds a lot better than trying to find, like, string samples from, like, Splice. Because they all sound like crap. So it's just, like, a nice way to make something that sounds authentic. Like, you recorded it, but... And then I wanted to hear the bass clarinet track. Such a nice sound. Okay, um, did I miss any string tracks? Let's see. Oh, this one's really nice. This one's from the vinyl sample pack that I have. Let's see if I can play like the original version of it. Oops, set it to the leader. Hmm. Can't hear that. I feel like I just sent a ton of direct current <laughs> through the string. The string. Anyways, yeah, that's that stuff. I feel like I messed it up now. Okay, whatever. Oh, geez. Okay, we've got more samples. These should be done with the strings for sure. I love this bit here. That gives such a vibe on this note. It like it has this like <laughs> so you can hear it now. It's like uh, like kind of out of key. And 
And same with this note. These two working together here. Okay, uh, that's that stuff. There's ocean, park. I like to find these um, tape noise stuff on free sound and just use them under the whole song. Because on the really quiet parts, it's not like too weird. It kind of gives it like a high noise floor and makes everything sound a little bit more realistic somehow. Like if I get a quiet part of the song here and turn off the tape noise, you'll hear it. Well, that one has ocean, but. Here's no noise tracks, I guess. And then it just feels like it was recorded that way too. All right, I'm going to go up to the top, I think. This is the piano track for the song. It's a combination of Alicia's and the lab's piano. Yeah. I think I got really lucky with those chords after I played them. I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> That's the main, yeah, instrument there, I think. Then this awesome. Um, I made this. I might have shown this before. I think I used it in another song. But it's the, this nice, <laughs> uh, let me mute this one. It's this awesome vibraphone. But it's missing, like, mallet noise, so I mixed in this balafon and I just pulled out any of the notes with like uh, buzz in them from the gourds <laughs> and so it's just like all the clean samples and that goes underneath this you can kind of hear it it makes it sound better <laughs> I think so this track I stole that that fifth thing, like the from a Feist song, I think. And that too, the doo -doo -doo -doo. And then this is also stolen from Feist. Um, I think what song is that? Um, bling, bling, bling. <laughs> oh, it's this one. It's just a normal song, but the intro has this like toy piano, so I tried to recreate that. So it's a synth, sort of. And then. <laughs> The other side of it is I played a bunch, I think I played just um, one note on my melodica and then it's set up to just play a random note. So it's a bunch of like key clicks, basically. And that goes on top of that synth. Makes it sound like a little toy piano. It's like faster than eBay, I guess. And then there's just a bunch of like stuff on here that makes it sound like it's in a room. Um, mostly the air reverb. Yeah, I can share that with Twitch subscribers. Um, 
it's not that useful, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> Uh, this is, I tried to recreate the sound that I did in Like What. So, um, yeah, Like What started out with that sound in the intro, and then I built everything around it. Where is it? Oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> So I made like a more mellow version of that, but. Um, and it was this like cool idea I had. Well, not really, it was an accident, but sorry, I need to fix this so it stops dropping. Um, okay, let's see if I can not screw this up. Basically it's taking the sample length, which is this tiny little piece here and it's slowly increasing it, like one sample at a time. Um, or actually decreasing it maybe. So if I can find the pitch, so that's negative 12. So if I set this to, ooh, shoot, that was not negative 12. Okay, <laughs> I need that number. So I set it to zero. Now you'll just hear like, it's increasing the sample length. And every time it hooks into like an actual sample, it makes like a hung, 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 hung. And it's just getting longer and longer, the section that it's repeating. And so then you set it so that this, um, this envelope um, increases the pitch. So it's going to start an octave lower and then increase the pitch to counteract what's happening with that other thing. Oop, that didn't save. So now it's like I have a tuner here to just like try and get it to stay in the same place, but it's drifting all over the place. This is a really cool sampler, so it's like freeware and it does a bunch of stuff that you can't do in any other shit. So like you can map time to the pan, so. And so the other notes will start on the other side, which I feel like you can't do in sampler. And a bunch of other stuff you can do. Cooler than that, um, but that's just the first thing I thought of showing. Okay, um, that's that sound. And then roads. That's the with you sound, I think. Nope, it's not. That's Omnisphere. <laughs> I wonder what's that? What is that? Oh shoot, that's a lot. So it's just adding like most of the tone to the chords. So that's the roads and the piano together. All right, and then this organ, I think this is an organ note. No, it's the bass. This is another thing from Feist. They do like really low <laughs> organ bass notes. So it's turned up now so you can hear it. <laughs> at the very bottom I like it um, this is a guitar track that I recorded like kind of had the guitar set up on my lap because it's the only way I can play <laughs> and it's this crappy like kid guitar with a heart shaped hole in it <laughs> mainly just trying to copy Feist. Uh, the only reason it sounds good is because of Amplitude, or Amplitude. I just like messed around with notes and then searched in through what I played to find some riffs. 
it's really bad. <laughs> it's like really bad, <laughs> but yeah, it works. It's embarrassing, honestly. So I asked, I'll, I'll send her Instagram. Hold on. Okay, I sent it in chat. So I asked her to play guitar on it because she's awesome and it took a while f to hear back from her after she said like she was super into that idea and then like I think it was like two weeks later or something maybe it wasn't that bad but it was like a week later and she said like sorry I just finished I like had a surfboard accident and then she sent me a picture of her like head like cut open and then <laughs> she said like but I tried to record it anyways but it's like really hard to play or something. And then like this whole guitar track's like completely cursed. But I I was like able to find some stuff that was good. But like um I sent I also sent her the song like 50 cents detuned. So I think she like had she didn't like realize. So she just played in like it was it was just weird. <laughs> I could tell she didn't have a good time doing it. But yeah, not much of it actually made it into the song. And then like <laughs> after she got better, she was like, oh, I'm, like I'll, I'll redo it now. But I said like, oh, it's fine. I kind of <laughs> did it myself and then used some stuff you sent me. But it's adding like cursed energy for sure. Especially these notes like. This is another feist thing, like just tampering messiness. Symbol, sax note. That's it. We're, <laughs> we're done with this one. Um, let me know if there's anything you want me to show. How did I write the chords? We're like... Oh, what's this chord? Oh, there we go. Um, I want, I, I think I write, wrote the melody first, like this one. And that already was like, whoa, that has such a cool, feeling to it and then um, I just took the, the melody and like try to find new chords for the the same melody so I have this note which can be the third of E flat so that's why I went with that and then and then I have another G so that I was like just checking chords that that would work on so it's the third of E flat. That's also like the major seven of A flat. <laughs> so I could go like. But that's like kind of RB or something. <laughs> so I was just like trying each combination. And I figured out that like the minor seven of A is really cool. But I didn't do it exactly like that. I think I just went with. That and so left out the the E the fifth. I don't know why it sounds better that way, but it does. <laughs> yeah, those are that's how I wrote it. It took me longer than that though. I sat down for a while until I got them. Um, I like Alicia's keys and I like the Laps piano, but the Laps piano is like 
not great by itself, I think. So uh, can I even play it? Oh yeah, I can if I mute. So this is the lab's piano by itself. Like some of the start times are really bad and you can't fix it. Like you can't go in like contact and edit it. Ooh, uh, yeah, your voice is a bit too quiet. Okay, hold on, there we go. Um, like these, some of these notes are like really messy. And then the, sorry, there's a ton of reverb on this. <laughs> and then the worst part is the sample end, which there isn't really one, so it just cuts off. Where if I play like an expensive piano sound. There's um there's a sample end sound, so it goes like uh, uh, uh with like the felt like stopping the string. So yeah, these two together though sound a bit more authentic because you get like the hammer messy noise, but then you still get the sample ends. A lot of like crappy samples up here, which I like. Yep. Um, I don't cut out the low end. <laughs> I don't know if it's just you that keeps sending me about that, but I don't do low cuts. I don't know why. I really want Keyscape, but you know, it's like 500 gigabytes, so. <laughs> and then yeah that piano was a combination of alicia's keys and the labs cutting the low end off your voice and boosting some highs would be ideal okay here we go uh okay there goes the lows and here goes oh there we go ah, la, la. how's that that sounds horrible to me but maybe too much halfway there <laughs> terrible okay, okay, okay. Uh, here's maximum bass and and no welcome to 95.9 i guess they'd have the highs on the radio there like that that's bass and highs boosted <laughs> all right um yeah that's a lot of bass <laughs> that's it for this too any more questions and then maybe i'll play piano for a while how long have i been streaming not very long maybe i'll, I'll just do some silly shit after this um i just recently got a zoom mic but i haven't used it anywhere because i've been inside <laughs> yeah i'll play some valorant maybe i don't think that's a good idea though it's not a zoom it's a task cam change it did i there's a tune oh yeah there's a tune knob i see what you mean yeah there's this and <laughs> you have to like hold control and like oh boy yeah you have to ha i think yeah control shift shift and alt to get fine tuning 
and then <laughs> good luck getting it to a number you want it like either goes too slow or too fast there's no way to like oh, see that you're like one number off there's no way to just jump to the next one there we go <laughs> It's like curling. <laughs> Once it's moving, it's like moving, and you just have to hope that it ends where you want it. sample library it was uh wasn't a library it was called i think it's sign strings but it might be the other one i have let me see oh yeah session strings there we go here i'll, I'll double that with the piano I do have to do something for 50 minutes, so um, let me play piano for a little bit if it's entertaining. Those two squares in a row. <laughs> That's my quarantine. Quarantine filter turned off. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me close this and open something else. Let's just make something dumb. Turn down the bass on my mic, too. All right, drum rack. We need what? What makes a good kick that's not a kick? What's the point of that? Hmm. Oh, claves make really good kicks. <laughs> Here we go. And now we need to automate the pitch. Where is that? Okay, I like it like at this pitch a lot. make really good snares. There we go. Okay. 
It's a uh, hmm snare. Let's speed it up on texture, maybe. Oh jeez. Okay, and then maybe frequency shift it down. snare. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the pitch. That's not a great snare though. That's not a snare. <laughs> Maybe like you do need a tone, like one main, like it's basically a tom with noise on it. Then we add some noise with erosion on sign. It's really nice. And then on noise. <laughs> I lost my note. And then re EQ it. There we go. I can't adjust the cue because I'm using my left hand. Make the decay shorter. That's a snare, isn't it? Basically. It has this like chirp in it though, which is not good. Okay, that's good. It's not very bright. Maybe one more erosion. Or maybe vinyl distortion. Ooh, hi. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay. Uh, those are really bad sounds, but it's a clave and a bird, so. Okay, I'll uh, I'll record the the hi-hats. Let's see here. I'm going to do it like this. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi. Oh, geez. That's dangerous. I shouldn't have pressed the in. <laughs> you can't hear it, but I can. Okay, hold on. Turn this back on. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have both hands, so I'm going to fix the snare. Okay. I like this sound. Sorry, there we go. All right, now we need a brass sound. So I'm gonna use the... Where the hell is it? All right, I'm gonna use a Prophet. I feel like it's gonna crash Ableton. <laughs> That's loading too long, oh no. Thank you. 
my ears it's hard to listen to <laughs> this is the next 40 minutes so if it's time to tune out it's time to tune out <laughs> yeah everything needs air reverb i should just put on the master maybe some some tape delay on the and then let's just pitch this up and stop fooling around That's uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't like that at all. <laughs> That's super loud. But so short that it doesn't hurt. But if that was like prolonged at all, it'd be like very uncomfortable. Let me freeze and flatten it, see what's going on here. What do we got? <laughs> I feel like it's just like really fast. Yeah, it doesn't look safe. Ah, it's like ice pick. <laughs> okay, we need a bass, so I'll use the mini Moog. I like this one too. That's cool. I like bass lines that don't match the chords. Did I lose it though? Oh, where is it? I made the Sam G thing from that demo he did with the with Connor Pearson. It's like um, uh, That's it. And then like, or something. this going <laughs> I think it's time to pitch it up an octave and then probably some reverb on the whole thing Those clicks are really coming through now that we've pitched it down. Okay, and then a lead. I just copied this sound too. Thank you. 
Uh, this is getting more embarrassing the more tracks I add. Okay, now we need just a piano underneath the whole... Actually, yeah, Rhodes from Labs. And then we're done with this one. think I'm even going to save this. Who wants it? <laughs> Maybe I'll save these and just send them to you guys to make them sound like normal thing. I think I think I made a stream folder. This one's called Bird. It does sound like the Fortnite dance. <laughs> it totally does. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny okay uh but i think that one has like a a fourth like if i take off the poly or if i make this it's like right that's it <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Should I just recreate that from Am I allowed to I'm allowed to play that on stream, right? Cuz people play it on stream. Hmm? I think I can, right? Okay. It's it starts with like <laughs> It starts with like hi hats, right? Well, doesn't have any reverb on it that's for sure and it does have a lot of more resonance I'll send you the Fortnite song. And then what do we got? We got three more minutes. <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe I'll open something I was working on. I don't know. Um. Should I? How many people would play Minecraft again if I, if I bought a server? Because <laughs> I stopped the realms because it just doesn't make sense to like have to invite everyone who wants to play. 
But if I actually hosted it on something, would people play again? Anything that, like, you imagine I could teach you, like, anything that <laughs> I might know how to do that you don't, and I'll try and show you. One thing I learned doing the remix contest and, like, listening to submissions is, like, everyone knows more than me. <laughs> can't make a Skrillex noise. I tried that last time. Massive patches. That's all basically what I'm doing. They're all like this. Just saw. And then you put an envelope on the filter. And then you map the velocity to the filter amount. And then you put air reverb on the whole thing. And that's it. Oh, another thing you can do is map the LFO to the pitch and set it to noise. makes it sound more like analog that's a bit much but just a little bit is a nice effect and then you can also make it so that the it doesn't completely die is the unison if you set it to two and then pan position to full you get like it's weird for sign stuff because Sometimes it's stereo and sometimes it's mono, just depending on where the signs line up. Also, I'm sure everyone does this already, but if you put an envelope on the pitch, it's really nice. Like, you know, classic. So you can do like... made my own kicks I don't think well except for like what I just did <laughs> I think I've done that with a few things lately I I take so I'll just take like this kick drum the drummer that played this died like a month ago which is weird But yeah, that's how I sample kicks, usually. It wasn't Bill Withers. 
It was Bill Withers drummer. Right? Or was it Bill Withers? No, it's Bill Withers. Holy crap. What am I saying? Right? Oh, geez. I should check that. <laughs> it, it was Bill Withers, I'm pretty sure. And the drummer is still alive. Um, releasing stuff is weird. Like, usually all the music's done for like six or seven months before it comes out it's weird but also like while i'm working on the music i don't work on the the other stuff like artwork and and stuff so i'm like usually doing that last and then usually all the music's done and i'm writing lyrics and recording vocals at the end I can't really, if you can tell, I can't really like write chords. <laughs> if I, have to, if I want to write something cool, I have to like sit down. But if I'm just like noodling, I play basically the same things over and over again. Um, we did the last EP on Counter, which was like an imprint of Ninja Tune. But the different water EP we released by ourselves, and then Uh Oh was on Alva. not too upset with me just taking off now because i feel like i'm just wasting everyone's time <laughs> but i'm gonna i'm gonna go work on music and yeah thanks for watching and you guys love this <laughs> no needle drops never reveal uh, i think m one of my images might have showed up on a video i don't know or like maybe on one of his twitter posts I remember getting a notification about it, but he hasn't put a video up. Okay, I'm going to end it on a riser. I should get more risers for the end, though, because I don't have any. Ooh, this one sounds awesome. <laughs> okay. Okay.